depressed watching yourself fuck. Yeah. And that he should do POV style. So I love it when your song was released and then it was destroying the charts for TLC and then you get you the TRL, you, TRL TRL yeah. and then did you, did you were you forced to get rid of uh, Yes, I was forced to. For 98 degrees that whole thing was It's a very um it's a very uh you know there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a little bit of uh intrigue here. Yeah. You know that went behind the story because there was you know some some things done in TRL that were were not necessarily ever made public. Right. Like okay, well, film me on the, the full the details. L. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Like the What's L. The story? Like the L and TRL the, isn't necessarily. Right. It's not necessarily it, live all the time. So what was the show's not on anymore. No big deal. What was the right? song? What was the song? And what happened? Okay, so we went to Seattle and we were filming bits in Seattle and we thought, hey, this would be funny to do this song called the Bum Bum Song, One which of my was favorite just, songs. It was a ridiculous ever. idea, and I would go and it was just a silly video of me going around my Seattle saying my bum is on the cheese, my bum's on the rail, my bum's on the boat, my bum's on the dock. All this. It was a silly. Sort of like a Doctor Zeus style nursery right. rhyme rap, I hear the <laughs> and and the, and the comedy of it was me out in the street sticking my ass on everything and and confusing people and filming the reactions, right, and singing this silly song. And then we played it on my show, and we said we want this to go to number one on Total Request Live, which is you know their countdown music show that they would have every night, hosted by Carson Daly. And um, so. We played it on Seattle radio, and it went to number one instantly. This was when my show was on MTV. It was, it was, it was a, a really doing well show on MTV. The show was doing well on MTV. People it went to number one. People saw the absurdity of this song, Knocking 98 Degrees, Britney Spears, in sync, and whoever else was on the J-Lo, I think, out of, the, out of the number one spot. And So we, went, we played it on the show. We asked people to vote for it. People voted for it. It went to number one on Tuesday. Okay, the show, I think, aired on a Monday. It went to number one on a Tuesday. This is the song. Yeah. Remember this show? Yeah. This was like fucking a huge hit. Yeah. This song was big. And this was the first uh, song to be like, this was right when MP3s just started. So it was the number one downloaded song that year. I think, what year was this? I think 14 people what year? downloaded 93? it. No, um, it was, uh, it was uh, no, no, this was 99, 2000, 2000, 2000 99. Okay, so what happened? So they squashed your song? Yeah, it went to number one on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, uh, on Wednesday it was num- number one again, okay? And then on Thursday, it was number one again. And then we get a call on Thursday at the office, and they're saying, uh, guys, um, we want you to kind of play ball with us here. And we're like, well, what's the deal? They said, well, you know, we need, we need you to go on the show on Friday and retire the Bum Bum song and take it off the countdown. And we're like, why? It's we got the number one song in America on write MTV, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah right. This is it. amazing, right? Make money off this yeah, shit. This is unbelievable. Let's keep it at number one. They go, Well, the thing is we pre tape the show next week because Carson's gonna be in San Francisco and all this stuff. So we're kinda of, it's kinda of like who we think's gonna be. Right. And we hadn't predicted you airing the show on Monday and it instantly going to number one. So it kind of screws up next week's pre tape, which is all in the can. So can you go on, on a Friday and just retire it? We'll give you like a retirement home plaque. And then, you know, I was on MTV and I had my show on MTV and I didn't want to get fired, right? right. Everybody's already mad at me about all this other shit, right. screaming at me all day about, you know, I want to suck milk out of a cow's udder because I think it'll be crazy. Let's put it on TV. And they're like, you can't, you can't do that. You know, we're arguing nonstop. Right. It was like, it was the most stressful time of my life. And that's saying something because I'm pretty stressed out right now too. Not right now, but most of the time, you know. And so, <laughs> so I'm on the show and I'm getting yelled at all the time by everybody. Everyone's always screaming at each other, trying to like, you know, make the show crazy or make it less crazy. And then so, you know, I played ball. I went in and I, I got a nice plaque. And you know what? I'm not even, to be honest, Honest with you, not well. Yeah, I'm. A, uh, you know, I think of it now. I think you know we could have rode that thing a little further. I could have put out a record. I probably could have, you know, had some fun with that. But uh, yeah, that's what happened. That's yeah. what happened. That's that's interesting, man. Yeah. That's uh, you got degrees. fucked. You got <laughs> fucked by the corporations. Yeah, son. exactly. It was, it was makes sense of, though that they, they would probably cost them a fuckload of money if they'd already pre-taped things. Yeah, they would have reshoot gonna... five shows. It's like you know. But like, how crazy is that? That now you find out what their rankings are like. It's well, all they total probably bullshit. Had, they, they probably made them had. Up. They probably had deals with the record company. Like we need to push ninety-eight degrees, and uh, here's a hundred thousand dollars. We need you to think get they these. They do that. Probably it's. There's well, so that's much. illegal. I mean, that's. I mean, they I doubt they did that. I doubt they did that. I never heard anything. You're just making shit up. No, no, I'm just throwing shit on. The table. No, they never, did, I have they never did anything like that. I think it was just basically it was a very strange week, and uh, they 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 sort of. So if it wasn't for that week, that song could have stayed on the countdown and become yeah. gigantic. Basically, that week was a re probably a repeat play, of Brian. the the week before. Brian, you know? Brian. but uh, 